Hello and welcome to Now Loading for the week of June 17th, 2015. We have a very busy week this time around, so let's not waste any time. On the release front, there's only one game that's hitting stores this week. Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition, which is available for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This is the same great cooperative payday experience that you saw on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, only with enhanced 1080p visuals. You'll be teaming up with friends to pull off a series of robberies and heists where teamwork is the key so you need to function as a unit rather than individually if you want to succeed. The reason this is the only release is that E3 is currently underway out in Los Angeles, California. This is the game industry's annual trade show where all the big companies are on hand to show what they have been working on and what we can expect to see released in the next year or two. Some of the biggest announcements we have seen this week so far include Microsoft announcing that backwards compatibility is coming to the Xbox One. Beginning this holiday season, you'll be able to play your favorite Xbox 360 and Xbox Live Arcade games natively on your new system. The list of compatible games will be updated monthly and eventually the entire Xbox 360 library should be accessible. Fallout 4, Bethesda's anticipated action RPG, is in fact launching this year, November 10th to be exact. The game is only coming to the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, so those of you who have yet to jump to the new generation are gonna be left out. Sony revealed the one title gamers have been asking for for nearly 20 years, and that's a complete remake of Final Fantasy VII. Sony and Square confirmed that they are in fact working on a total remake, not just an update. This means that they're rebuilding the game from the ground up with next generation visuals and gameplay, and it will be launching first on the PlayStation 4. The news keeps rolling in this week and it's hard to keep up, so in order to keep yourself up to date, make sure you check out GamingNexus.com.